Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. Today, we are doing an author you may have heard of, hopefully, <laughs> and that is Dane Cobain, aka me. So this episode was requested by Time for Books and also Catalyst Reads. So thanks you guys, I actually hadn't even thought of this as an idea for an episode, which makes it the best kind of self-promotion, I think. So yeah, in case you didn't know, I write books, and I do music as well, that's one of the facts, I think, I don't know, maybe I ruined that. But anyway, here is a little stack, and let's go! So, fact number one, so my birth name was actually Dane Ashley Bygrave, but I changed it when I was 16 to Dane John Cobain, so the John is after John Lennon, and I literally changed my middle name because it cost the same amount of money. <laughs> and I changed my name because basically it was my online username back in the early days of the internet so on forums and MSN messenger and all that stuff it was also kind of my nickname amongst my friends and it was the name I used to write with as well so it made sense to change it okay so fact number two is I appeared on a game show called pointless here in the UK and that's a national TV show I've actually been on BBC radio BBC TV and BBC online which is pretty cool and uh, on pointless I was a contestant with my ex-girlfriend Laura and it's actually one of the first videos that's still available on my channel look here's a bit of footage spoiler alert we won the show but we didn't win the grand prize I was uh, unseated by a question about literary awards which we all know Peg the Book Prize addict would have absolutely nailed. Question is, here it comes. We gave 100 people 100 seconds to name as many authors who have won the Gold Dagger Award as they could. So I actually have seven books out there, about a dozen more that I wrote when I was younger and had kind of, you know, vanity prints of them made so that I could have a copy but that aren't actually on sale. I guess I'll talk to you through each of the books. So we've got No Rest for the Wicked, which is my first one, which is a novella. It's a supernatural thriller. Very exciting. We have Eyes Like Lighthouses When the Boats Come Home, which is a poetry collection. I'm actually working on a follow-up at the moment, but that's going to be 2019. Then we have Formally, which is, I guess, like a literary fiction novel. It's uh, about a tech startup called Formally, and they're the social network for the dead. So they're not zombies. Basically, it's like a private journal that you sign up to and you can post to, and then when you die, your profile goes public. Then there is Social Paranoia, how consumers and brands can stay safe in a connected world. This is a non-fiction book all about what the title suggests, really. It's about how social networking affects us as individuals and also what we can do to avoid unintentionally going viral and all that sort of thing. Then we have Coming Up to the House, which is a horror novella and screenplay, so it's basically the same story in two different formats. And the idea is, is that the screenplay itself is actually Creative Commons, so anyone can go and take that and turn it into a movie, which I'm hoping one day somebody will do. And this is about like, it's like a haunted house story. Then we have Subject, Verb, Object, an anthology of new writing. So this is an anthology I edited with 18 indie authors in it. And we basically all swapped prompts, all wrote little stories to go in there based on those prompts. And this is the result. And then we have my latest book, which is Driven. And this is the first book in the Lightfold series. And it's a sort of a quirky detective slash cozy mystery, but it's set in our times. And you get an interesting sort of contrast be between Lightfold, who's the private detective, and then Miley O'Hara, who is his assistant. And uh, nobody can pronounce those names as well, I've discovered, which is, which is great, because I kind of deliberately did that. Okay, fact number four, as well as writing books, I also write music. I actually have three albums out and they are Nocturne, which is was released in 2010 when I was 21. Sketches, which came out 2015, I think. And then Discordia, which I think was 2016. Yeah, 2016. And I'm currently working on a fourth one called Echoes. All of these are on Spotify and I've got music on like SoundCloud and stuff as well. I record them all in my house using the same microphone I use for my YouTube videos actually. And uh, yeah, I also always make them 72 minutes long because that's the maximum length you can fit on a CD. And they all have little hidden tracks at the end as well. And fact number five is that I memorize stuff. So I memorize all of my poems and then I perform those, you know, from memory. So actually, I like lighthouses when the boats come home. I know this entire book off by heart. Most of the others I've learned bits of them, so I've memorized, for example, the introductory essay and my story in subject verb object. I've got the intro from Social Paranoia, chapter one of No Rest for the Wicked. So 
I do that, and um, I also I memorize. I've got some other poems by people that I've memorized. So, uh, "America" by Allen Ginsberg, which is like four and a half minutes long, and "Jabberwocky," I know that one. And uh, I've been trying to memorize the Fear Litany recently as well. And when I was in secondary school in maths, they made us all memorize the times tables up to 20 times 20. And my friend Gary, he went further. He did up to 30 times 30. And while he was doing that, I memorized pi to a bunch of decimal places. And uh, yeah, for those of you who are curious, it's 3.141592653589793238468. And then some more numbers. So yeah, there we have it. Those are five bookish facts about Dane Cobain, because apparently now I talk about myself in third person. Please hit a like if you've enjoyed this video. If any of my books have piqued your interest, you know, please buy a copy. That's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.